I'm here to meet with a pair of engineers who have recently just set up their own company. In fact, it was just six weeks ago. Let's go and meet with Dave and Bob. February the 3rd, 2014. Bob, what happened that day? Uh, it was rather an interesting day. It began in uh, Tesco's car park in Wolverhampton, uh, where we quickly took some checks to uh, the bank in order to pay our solicitor and uh, rent deposit deed and start trading as Midlands Components Limited. So February the 3rd was the first day of the business? It was the day that we picked up the keys at the estate agency, yes. And we're now six weeks on. What's happened in those six weeks? In those six weeks, we've started trading. Um, we installed uh, two uh, Victor uh, new CNC machines, a new compressor, a new shadowgraph, a new CNC saw, and we've started trading. We're on our 47th job today. And you've got 10,000 square feet here. That's right. Two high performance CNC lathes. The business started six weeks ago. Yes. How was, that, how was that funded? How did you go about the finance? Tell us a little bit about that. We, we first of all, we invested uh, seed capital, myself and my partner, Dave Hayes. Um, we each funded um, 50,000 pounds into a startup capital fund. Uh, we approached uh, Finance for Industry about the financing of the machines and we were very successful in getting some um, government help in terms of the regional uh, growth fund uh, which gave us a significant contribution towards the machines. So the regional growth fund, how did that work? Can you explain? The regional growth fund uh, worked along the lines that uh, as we were a new startup business, completely new, we started up from scratch, um, we uh, employed uh, now six people which was part of the deal that um, we would be employing people as a new startup business. So now you've got the machine tools into the uh, machine shop, why did you go for Victor? We went for Victor for a number of reasons. First of all, the reliability of the machines. They're simply the best machines on the market for our particular application. Uh, we wanted uh, machines that would be able to um, supply the variety of components that we're looking at for um, aerospace, for oil and gas, and for the power generation industry. Because most new companies would start in a very small premises, maybe with used machine tools, you've gone straight for a Y-axis lathe, which gives you the edge over your other engineers in the area? Mm. It's, it's, a, it's a chance and it's a risk, um, I accept that. But we wanted to um, employ the best machines available um, to do the job right from day one and uh, grow the business in the correct way without the thought of moving in the next few years. Five years time, we've got 10,000 square feet here, will it be full of machine tools? I hope so, yes. Will they be Victor's? Uh, they'll certainly be Victor's consideration, yes. Yeah. I've picked the Y-axis machine because of its flexibility and how versatile it is plus the builder quality and the service backup was second to none. So you've had experience with Victor in the past? Over 15 years experience with Victor uh, using their machines and I've found for what we're doing it's the best type of machine. And this Y-axis machine, you've got a component there, what, what is that you've machined? It was a, a car that we had to try out the machine when we first had one, um, I designed it up and then programmed it and then run it through a machine, actually on the live. And that, that, so that in some ways you could look at that part and think it could a lot of it could be done on a milling machine but I suppose with the y-axis that gives you the flexibility to uh, to do the milling on there looks a bit like a Freddie Flintstone car is that right yeah yeah that was the basics of it like just just a play thing to say yes this machine is capable of doing this and this is where we are and are you gonna machine uh, Wilma and various other characters from the, the show in time <laughs> probably in time when I get a, if I get a bit more time probably yes but uh, you, you might need an next 200 mil turn for that you never know you never know, you never know what's around the corner. <laughs> so yourself and Dave are co-directors, how do you know each other? We met about uh, two years ago and uh, Dave had got considerable, maybe 17 years experience in the oil and gas industry. I came from an aerospace oil and gas um, background 
and uh, it was logical that we decided that we wanted to do something together in terms of running a business. We knew that there was a particular niche in the subcontract world and we're aiming to fulfil that. And you're both very hands-on as well. It's not just you don't have differing roles, you have the same roles, you do everything. In a new business startup, we can't afford to be anything else other than hands-on. So yes, we do everything, absolutely everything, top to bottom. And with the Regional Growth Fund, you've already got two employees in the machine shop. You mentioned six, so you, you're currently looking for more or you'll be looking for more over? Yes, we're re we've recruited two more people who'll be starting at the beginning of April. And then um, with the successful loading on the machines, we're planning another investment about mid-year uh, of, of 2014 so that we can employ another four people. And obviously all this depends on work. Customers, you've got new customers. There must be new customers. How many have you got? And Obviously, they're, they're pleased with what you're doing so far. How are you going to grow your customer base? We're going to grow our customer base by delighting customers. Um, that, that stems from supplying the right quality at the right cost and delivering on time. We know that's very, very important to our customers, and that's what we aim to deliver.